This is my homemade uh, vacuum tank for sucking up vegetable oil. It started out as a 40 gallon water tank, a bladder tank, which I cut open. You can see the weld here. I cut it open and pulled the bladder out. The bladder was blown anyway, so got rid of that. This is a vacuum, a Thomas vacuum pump. Uh, military surplus. This is a med piece of medical equipment. I think it's for like field surgeries for, you know, sucking out body fluids or whatever from wounds. It was unused. Okay. Military surplus. This is Thomas brand, I believe. However you say it. Uh, it's DC, 12 volt. I ran it off of a DeWalt battery. I probably haven't used this thing in about six years. But I'll show you how it works. Basically, I would just put the battery on there. Right. And hook it up. Might get a little loud here. We'll let it, let it pull vacuum. That's probably good enough for demonstration. Anyway, it would I'd pull a vacuum on this tank. I don't remember what I'd run it to. Probably like 15 or so. It depends how fast you wanted it to work. I have a uh, fuel hose here. Uh, gas or diesel, it doesn't matter. But you got to use a rigid hose because this is vacuum. It comes into the top of the tank. I had a sight glass over here. Just a simple one with a hose so I could see when the started to get high. So I wouldn't, you know, suck vegetable oil into the, uh, the vacuum line over here. So basically, you would build up a vacuum on it. You'd stick this wand down into the tank, right? After it's in the water or in the oil, you open it up. You suck up your oil, right? The whole time this vacuum pump's pretty much running. Got a little holster there to put the, the tube in, right? And then you would fill it up. I don't know. You could probably get about 30, 35 gallons in this system in one in one go and this battery would do it this battery would do the uh do enough to fill this tank up probably multiple times on one on one uh tool battery and then uh after it was full i would pressurize it here with a with a uh, compressor on the bladder tank valve that's already in there you don't even have to put one in it's already there right and then i would discharge it out of this hose at the bottom of the tank which is the normal connection point for the well and it would come out of this one here you know i would put this into a jug and then open it up and it would pressurize out through the tank this is probably the best way to do it because having a pump an actual pump do this job is is too much to put that oil through the impeller and all that it's just it's never really going to work right not on a tool battery anyway with low you know with low power input not having 110 this thing can sit in your car or in the back of your truck. It's basically designed like a septic truck, you know. You pull a vacuum on the vessel and then suck the stuff up. And then as long as you stay away from the chunks. And really, if you got this, this line clogged, the good thing about this, if this did get clogged up, you can pressurize this tank and then open this valve and just blow air through here to blow whatever debris got in there, you know. This, if you take one of these pumps and replumb it with some valves and stuff you could probably use this to pull a vacuum and to pressurize this tank all standalone on the tool battery but when you do pressurize i had this shit schrader valve that i would put in here pretty much to keep mud daubers out but you have to block this off to pressurize it because this is a a check valve in here that only goes one way and uh, it will bleed out of here when you put your pressure into that and you'll lose pressure so i would just spin that in by hand it was enough to you know hold it back but it's probably been about six years since i used this because i don't really have anything that runs on veg oil anymore i got some some derelict mercedes laying around here but for drivetrain projects later on but that's it i just put this over it it's been like that for six years you know still works obviously hook a battery to it I could go suck up some oil right now if I wanted to, but this is the best way to do it. I still need to do a video on my three years experience running vegetable oil. I drove a Mercedes 
station wagon, 83 for three years. I put 130,000 miles on it. And it was probably about seven cents a gallon after filtering it and, you know, all that. But that's it. A vacuum pump, military surplus vacuum pump, medical, medical grade. And uh, she works like a champ. Sucked fuel up for me for three years straight. That's for sure. But this is the best idea I could come up with because any kind of pumps will not do it. Don't even waste your time. This is what you should do. Build a, build a vacuum vessel and suck it out of there with vacuum. Save yourself the headache. All right. That's for you, kingdom. You got to get on that with a diesel truck. Yep. Later.